So we're going not quite to the top of the spur there, but like where that snowy patch is. Yeah. Slightly above that and then curl left and round the ridge. And then hug that elevation for a while and then back down. All right, what's up everybody? Um, so day four for me, day three of actually hiking. Um, and I am at Cloud Cap. Got here last night. I had to do multiple dangerous river crossings. Um, and I did one in the dark last night, uh, along with climbing down the side of a cliff <laughs> in the dark. Uh, but we'll get more into that later. Uh, so yeah, right now, uh, it's just after 7. Got about 14 more miles to go until uh, I reach the Timberline Lodge again. And uh, some of the hikers, you know, that I was talking about in previous episode, um, that we were kind of hiking on and off together. Um, so they're here, and we're going to hike the rest of the trail down to Timberline. So it's a long day. Um, Got to get down by Timberline by like 1. Uh, it's supposed to be some rain. It's going to be cold. Um, the mountain <laughs> is behind me, and we are going up to 7,200 feet, and we are literally going to be on a ridge of this mountain. So uh, it's going to be interesting. Um, by far the grueliest hiking day yesterday and one of the most dangerous uh, hiking days I've ever had. Uh, so hopefully today's a little bit easier. We do have a little bit of a sense uh, to get up, so probably another 1,500-ish, maybe 2,000 feet, um, and then and then down. So I'm exhausted. My body's sore. I'm beat up. I didn't sleep well last night, so I've just got to push on. Just got to crush and uh, get off this mountain. <laughs>
could use it in with the Ned Land. Um, it would be somewhere around the building. Yeah. And we should know about it on that. playing Jenga. Holy God. 
I think I'm a little bit more nervous doing it just because like I ate up the traction on the shoe so like everything slips so it's like I, I lose that little bit of confidence that I need yeah it's like I you know I'm not gonna drown you know I don't think you know so <laughs> yeah Right, right, exactly. Exactly. Safely. It's how I understand what I want in this place, see, cause everybody wanna tell you bad things, what could go wrong, what fame brings, but success is a finicky thing, and if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be. I don't wanna let myself down, myself. Yeah, so like all this, how steep this is, loose rock, there's some random boulders. That's what I climbed in the dark, but way, 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 way worse. And then catastrophically one false move and you're falling straight into the river. I'm trying to like give you guys a visual. I couldn't film that it was way too dangerous and I should not have done that in the dark at all there's no way that was super sketch but I didn't have a choice I needed to get to a campground this camp spot behind me was full oh yeah, so like, I mean that, dude, that's like what I had to climb down. It's insane.
I'll take it. <laughs> I said I'll take it. All right, guys, what's up? All right, so it's been pretty crazy weather today. Um, passing that mountain, uh, I was hailing. Crazy wind up there. That was super sketch. Uh, I think sketchier than my uh, in the middle of the night river crossing. Um, but as you see, I got like my rain jacket on. It's been on and off raining. So this is definitely the coldest day and rain here and there so um, I kind of put all the electronics away and uh, taking more pictures than video so I'll try to shoot a video as I can but uh, just trying to get out of here estimated three hours left and, uh, and we're good finally get off the mountain so here we go crushing miles uh, all right so probably gonna be super shaky um, so the sun is out. So it is supposed to rain again. Um, you know, but it's, I don't know, it's weird because who knows what side of the mountain it's gonna rain on. But we got just under four miles to go. Then we're done. Um, it's not gonna make brunch, which is all right be a couple hours late for that but uh, you know whatever we get it's just unreal out here it's so nice but you know you're paying you're paying for the views for sure this mountain will challenge you a hundred percent this has been some of the most dangerous stuff I've ever done in my life And, uh, you know, you're like, you're basically walking on one of the peaks of Mount Hood uh, for several miles. I mean, you got a good, like, three hour hike on the peak. And, I mean, it's just, you're 7,200 feet in elevation. It's so windy up there. And there's giant gusts of wind, you know. And it's coming so fast, it's just blowing you all over that peak. But I've crossed some of the sketchiest rivers. The Sandy River and the Elliott River are pretty dangerous out here. Um, the Elliott is the one that I did uh, in the dark. Doing the peak that we hiked this morning. That was super sketchy, super dangerous. You know, a lot of it, a lot of it's just like taxing on your body, you know, even though like it's 41.5 miles, there's still so much of this trail that's just taxing. And some of those water crossings, I mean, you're, you're climbing boulders. It's not just like step on this rock, step on that rock or cross this log. You're like climbing boulders to like get across and the one river I crossed, I was, you know, literally hugging, laying on the boulder, like hugging it and like sliding down it just to place my foot. And I'm kind of like supermaning my foot over to reach another foothold. And there's like, you know, a, a big gap between boulders. And then you're like stretching your arm out. So now you're like spider manning this thing. And it's just, it's super sketchy, you know, and like, you're supposed to be doing like these water crossings like early in the day because as the sun comes up it heats you know that mountain up so that snow that's up there 
you know, you're just having this glacier runoff. That's why you see some of these, some of these rivers are like roaring. So the later in the day that you do it, the, the more dangerous it gets. And you know, we're kind of have some doing it at this time of the year in the fall. You know, those rivers aren't as high, so they're not as psychotic, but you know, still dangerous enough. There's a couple of them where, you know, you're crossing and, you know, 10 feet to your, to your left, a giant drop waterfall. So, I mean, one slip and, the, you know, it's over, so. But, yeah, like I said, I mean, this mountain is not letting you get the views without paying for it. This is going to test your body. It's going to test your... Your mental strength is is a big thing you know there were a couple of times I really wanted to tap out especially at two of those rivers <clears throat> last night crossing the alley at having to climb down that cliff and then cross that river in the dark just using a headlamp and just trying to trust your hand holds on the cliff and your feet mostly your hands but and then uh, you know trying to trust your holds crossing the river with just a headlamp <laughs> and then trying to figure out where the hell the trail is on the other side so you know your body's gonna take so much and uh, your mind is gonna quit before your body does you know and it's like when I crossed the Elliot last night I knew in the moment this is one of the most dangerous things I've ever done and probably one of the stupidest decisions I've ever made. But I just kept viewing it where it was like, I have to get across this because I need to get to this camp spot. I have to, I don't have a choice. And uh, you know, looking back on it, you know, the guy that I ended up hiking with, he stopped right before the crossing. But the camp spot was so small, it was only big enough for like a one person tent. But looking back on that, I probably could have just cowboy camped. You know, I have the little foam uh, mat, the, uh, the pad, and you know, zero degree sleeping bag. Like I probably could have just cowboy camped that and that would have been the safest bed and then crossed it early, early this morning. Um, so, you know, in the moment and looking back on it, definitely one of the dumbest things that I've ever done even though it was successful it was still stupid and very very risky but <sighs> a few more miles man it's one of the hardest trails I've ever done one of the hardest so anyway a few more here we go all right, one more river crossing, and then about a thousand foot of ele elevation. And uh, we're almost there, two miles away. We're getting there. It's almost done. So when this water level is higher, this is supposed to be a super dangerous uh, river. So we'll see how it is here. Yeah, here we go. All right, so there's this part we got to cross, and then there's one more on the other side of that little berm there we got to cross. <coughs> so, kind of two rivers in one.
All right, so I don't think I'm gonna film this because we just gotta go. So here we go. It is what it is. All right, look at that. Just up ahead, JK came and met me for the last little .5. <sighs> We're almost there. I'm struggling. I'm walking real slow. It's been like a thousand foot of incline with just like thick sand. We finally kind of leveled off a little bit with some gravel, but it's brutal. It's windy, it's freezing up here. I don't really know what comes next. I'm just doing my best, even though I'm so stressed out. Everything just feels like a test, and I feel so depressed when I can't seem to get out. But something deep inside won't let me quit. I swear that I'm inspired by you. By worth, I desire your worst. Right. So you can just hide while I work. I like it. I'm tired, you first. I'll write a second, third verse about the lies you go disperse. You never did, I know it hurts. But something deep inside won't let me quit. I swear that I'm inspired by all this. Shit. Tell me that I can't, and I won't. That's what guides me the most. You lies, I'll do what I want. Uh, Sorry about the shaky camera. I'm just holding the phone at this point. I don't even care anymore. So JK came to meet me. My hiking friends that I met up here stopped to wait for me so we could all hike down together. This has been amazing. Now we're here. It's one of the hardest hikes I've ever done. I had four days to do 41.5. Ended up doing it in three. Not by choice. And uh, yeah. So we're gonna celebrate down here. It's a victory for sure. 
talk to you guys soon. Trail feet.